Galicio back at it again, this time with a 64 gigabyte recall box image. And if you missed the previous video, I mean, people loved it. I loved it. He did 128 gigabyte and it was awesome. The only downside was that some things were in Portuguese, but 95% of the image was in English and running recall box, it well, ran really well. Everything from Dreamcast, Nintendo 64 and PSP were running just great on the Raspberry Pi. Really easy to overclock, really easy to change the language, really easy to turn on and off the background music. A really nice theme comes has Cody pre-installed and uh, this one, over 10,000 titles and over 30 systems. I mean, it really, is this uh, end all, you know, 128 master mega image? That's definitely what we have here. And as I mentioned in previous videos, love recall box, love how simple it is. Um, so you're gonna really enjoy this one. I did overclock for this just for a better viewing experience at 1.3, which is a very mild overclock. It's actually recommended for some of you playing some of the more Nintendo 64 and advanced titles. But let's go ahead and check this one out. But I just wanted to start you off with letting you know that it is awesome and 64 is a great size, recall box is a great front end, so let's take a deeper look. All right, welcome back. Galistio back at it again, this time with a 64 gigabyte image. And yes, I am running this on a SanDisk Ultra 64 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. You do need to set it up through a USB micro SD adapter to your computer. So for example, typically I burn my images on a um, micro SD to SD adapter through my SD card slot on my laptop. So you will need some sort of USB device. I'll put a link on Amazon how to do that. Um, it's fairly simple to do. The actual file size when this is all said and done is 59.4 gigabytes at 63,864,600,000 bytes. Um, as I mentioned, the 64 gigabyte, it fit no problem whatsoever. Um, according to Galistio, it is running Recall Box version 18.02.9. You can see that here. System settings, there you go. Um, when you do start up your, um, for the first boot, you do want to hit start, go down one system settings, and then go to language and change it from Portuguese to English. The other thing I did was I went into my sound settings and I dropped the sound a little bit and turned off the front end music. But what I was saying was there's a total of uh, 47 systems and almost 11,000 games, 10,939. So let's go ahead and have a peep here. Let's uh, start with Nintendo 64, 236 games. Now a lot of haters out there about Nintendo 64 performance, but I gotta tell you, Nintendo 64 performs really good on recall box, especially if you overclock to that 1.3 gigahertz. I'll play some of these games a little later. Um, recall box doesn't currently support video snaps, so this is the best visuals you're gonna be able to see. I'm a fan of the theme, it's really basic. You can see the controllers, the systems. I really like this type of theme because it's so easy to, um, to get around and use. So we do have some hack games on here. Mario Kart 64, uh, Sonic Adventure 64, which actually I don't recommend playing, but there's a few on here. Bunch of Super Mario uh, mod, Super Smash Brothers 2 mod, and a Super Wario uh, 64. But back on the theme, I like it very much. Um, a lot of uh, Game Boy Advanced, you have a total of 1062, Game Boy Color 554, Game Boy 489, Family Computer Disk System, mm, look at that picture. Look at that carpet it's on, 237. Virtual Boy, 26. So there's gonna be a few other interesting ones on here, yeah. Some Japanese releases. Game & Watch, 56. Sega Mega Drive, also known as Genesis, 817. And you can see here he has some favorites as well. Uh, Sega Mega Drive Hacks, also known as Sega Genesis Hacks. Quite a few on here. Sega CD, only four. So this is where you're gonna save some space for that 128. But uh, I would have liked to see Terminator on here, but still Sonic the Hedgehog uh, CD, one of my favorites. 32X, you have all the games here. Really nice to see. So they're all here, even X-Men. 
Sega Dreamcast 3. So you still have Capcom vs. SNK 2, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and Mortal Kombat Gold. Those all run. I do know that. Sega Master System 292, Tech Toy 41. Sega Game Gear 262, Sega SG-1068. And then we got some collections here. We got Star Wars, 27 games. It's quite a few. PlayStation, 28 games. We got Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3, Bloody Roar, Capcom vs. SNK, Castlevania, Crash Bandicoot Racing, Dark Soccer's 3. The reason why there's these are duplicates here is that's one because they're favorites at the top and then the regular as well. Gran Turismo 1, Driver, Hercules. Supposedly this Hercules game is really good. I haven't gotten into it, but I know I hear a lot of people really like it. Marvel vs. Capcom, Medal of Honor, Road Rash, Spider-Man. Tekken 3, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, one of the better ones. PSP, you got 10 games. Castlevania, Metal Slug X, Bomberman, Dragon Ball Z, Guilty Gear, Loco Roco, Mega Man, Mega Man, Petapon, and Street Fighter Alpha 3. And they all run really well on a recall box. PC Engine 290. Nice to see a large PC Engine. You can hit the upper click to go fast through the collections here. PC Engine CD, 19 games. Wow, this is nice to see. Bonk, Dragon Slayer. So some cool games here. Riot Zone, Adam's Family. So great games there. I highly recommend spending some time there. Super Graphics 5. Now, Scum VM, this is where, you know, this image is not that great. Is These are all in Brazilian. As you see, it says BR. BR, I guess, stands for Brazilian, from what I understand. So um, oftentimes, the actual sound is in English but all the subtitles are gonna be in Brazilian, okay? Shoot 'em ups, 112, so big, massive amounts of shoot 'em ups nice to see. Capcom collection, all your Cap CPS1, CPS2 games, as well as your Capcom classics in here, nice to see. MAME, 1635, so nice to see all that. A lot of games here to play. You can skip, I can skip around with the trigger buttons and go through here pretty quick. In case you're wondering what games we got on here. Hit the Ice, Jackie Chen, Jurassic Park, Mega Man's, Mortal Kombat, Namco games, Outrun, Pac-Man, R-Type, RoboCop, Shanghai, Snow Bros 1 and 2, Street Fighters, Super Street Fighters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Simpsons, The Ghostbusters, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, The Verse Games from Nintendo, Winter Sports, World Rally 1 and 2, WrestleFest, WWF, X-Men, Bada Bing, Bada Boom. Name hack games, so... Interesting to see some hack games here, some games you may not have seen. Hyper Street Fighter. All the Street Fighter variations on Street Fighter 2. Neo Geo, 136 games. He really likes Blue's Journey. I'll have to play that a little bit. And your Metal Slugs, Puzz Fighter, many, many more. King of Fighters. Neo Geo hack games, 54. Hyper Street Fighter 2, Marvel Super Heroes, Metal Slugs, Street Fighter 2's Alpha's King of Fighters. X-Men vs. Shooter are Hack Boss. So some cool things to check out there. Atari 2600, 643, 7864, Atari Lynx 76, Neo Geo Pocket 9, Neo Geo Pocket Color 82, Doom is just, oh, Doom 1, Doom 2, Doom Plutonia, and Doom TNT have been added. Coley Co. Vision, 149. Vetrix, 90. Cave Story, which is in uh, Brazilian. Amstrad, 360. Apple II. MSX with 1, 2, and 3. Six, almost 700 of these. That's, that's a big collection of MSX for you. So, J Japeo is J Japanese releases. Odyssey. 116, all of his favorites. So we're still not done, guys. Super Nintendo, 902, a couple in Brazilian. 
but a lot in English. Super Nintendo Hack 69, a very super Mario Brothers, Alex the Kid, some Brazilian releases, Donkey Kong Country Hacks, Mega Man Hacks, Rayman Hacks, Mario Kart, Mario World, Metroid, and Zelda Hacks, X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Super Famicom 159. When does this image end? When does it end? Which is about there. And then NES 820. Some Brazilian releases, but a lot of English releases as well. So, um, what did I want to do? I wanted to play some Nintendo 64. Check that out. I want a game that doesn't take forever to get started. Beetle Adventure Racing is a very underrated game. I've played this before on my previous reviews, but it, it's just such a great game. Really good game. I am overclocked right now, in case you were wondering. Um, the image comes, though, on, on, on stock clock, so it will run on the 1.2. Something this image doesn't have is it doesn't have bezels. It doesn't have boot screens either, but... Um, a 64 gigabyte image with almost 11,000 titles. I mean, where are you going to find that? You know, there's actually a few out there, but <laughs> there's not a lot. One player. One player. Full grid. Medium. Mount Mayhem. I think I'll go with the yellow bug. If rumble packs are to be used, please insert them into the controllers now. I got my... Uh, I'm running the F710, which does have vibrator motors in there. I don't know if this game actually vibrates or not. I think it does. Okay, gas is A. Uses your analog sticks. I actually think it's B. Gas is B. Oh! Oh, I thought those signs were going to stop me. Okay, got the brakes now. There's actually very... What? He drifted into me? These computers are ruthless. So this is definitely more of a realistic racing game. You are going to have to use your brakes and really get in on this. It starts to snow. I'm not sure about the actual... If the, if the traction changes. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> didn't do so well there. Definitely lost some speed. Um, yeah, you definitely drift a little more in the snow. Keep that in mind when you're playing this game. Oh, look at that crowd. So I'm on lap one of three, and I'm in fifth out of eighth. But I'm about to make up some places here. I just know it. Oh, I could have fell on, fallen off that bridge right there. All right, let's see if we can get up to third place here. I doubt it, though. Oh. Oh, look at that. Uh. Uh. We're making up some serious time here. I think we might actually get to first. Ah. Uh. We're... Oh, we're first! All right, I'm going to quit before I my my winning streak ends here. Maybe we got to drift it out hard here. Oh, you turn. <laughs> nice. We made it happen. We made it happen. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I think he's right on my butt. I think he's going to pass me right here. Anyway, so as you see, cool textures, a lot of fun stuff. Oh, that's cool that they shatter. I thought I was not going to do so well there. Ooh, what's that do? Okay. So, why don't we finish this off by going over the tunnel, doing a little launch. Secret. What? Okay. <laughs> we took the ice school down. We took it downtown. Cool. So, as you can see, Nintendo 64 runs great. PlayStation, you guys have seen me run it again. I do want to see if there's any bezels on the, on the portables. I don't think there is. But just want to check that really quick. And then we'll check out some PSP. That's definitely a system that takes a little bit more of the processing power. Okay. So, those are the portables are going to be stretched a little bit, which is fine. It's a, it's a decent, it's probably my second favorite way of, of playing them versus having a really small screen. And uh, PSP's over here. 
Something also that's kind of nice is the um, the controls on your. Um, what do you guys want to do? I've played that game, played that game. I don't think I've played Dragon Ball Z. Oh, but with the Dreamcast, you don't have to. That's what I was saying. With the Dreamcast, you don't have to um, configure your controls. It's all set up. No, I want to go arcade. One round, 60 seconds. This looks really good. Ooh. Look at that kick. Oh, countered. Take that, dude. This game is very imaginative. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, he got me that time. Got it a little lag there. Got it to lag a little bit there, but it wasn't nothing, nothing too crazy. So start select is your exit out. Whatever you set your hotkey to is going to be your uh, exit. It's start plus your hotkey. So in this case, it was select. Um, I've played that game before. I don't think I've ever got into the... I mean, this looks great. Got him. We did it. All right, so there you have it. Galistio making another beautiful one. And 64, you know, I've always been a fan of 64 because the download time doesn't take forever. The 64 gigabyte card is, you know, you can sometimes get it under 20 bucks. So when you're really talking cheap gaming, to get over 10,000 titles for under 20 bucks or right around that $20 mark, wow, wow, wow. That is good. Um, so some pros about this. It's a huge collection. It even has Dreamcast, PSP, and some other games. It's recall box, so it's really easy to use, and it's pre-set up. A lot of people don't like a recall box because it takes a lot of setting up. But if you're getting one that's already set up for you, I mean, look at this. You hit start. It already has Cody on there. It, you can overclock with the click of a button. You can turn on and off this music. You can add more controllers very easily. Um, over and over again, just really nice stuff. Um, one of the reasons I didn't like recall box in the past was, was controller. Um, configurations like it didn't support as many controllers but I'm not having any issues with that anymore so back to this particular image I mean everything from Atari 2600 all your consoles even some older ones like Amstrad Apple II MSX Odyssey and then all the way up to Dreamcast Nintendo 64 and then still including your modern like 1980s 1990 um, retro consoles as well I mean just all around a huge huge collection what I don't like about it is it does require you to use that USB image burner to get it to work. I've made a video on that in the past. I also don't like that some of the games are in Portuguese, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. I would still definitely recommend this image to a lot of people as there's maybe about 5% of the games that are in Brazilian. And for the majority of games I play, it was just the same. So um, 
The other thing I, I really like about it is the theme. It's very clean, very simple, nothing crazy. It just shows you the system. You know, I think that is going to be appealing to anybody where some of these other images I've reviewed, people are like, oh, that's too much blue or oh, there's too, the font doesn't look good. Like this is just super easy to clean, easy to read, not clean. Uh, and overall, just just uh, just what the doctor ordered, you know, not offensive, but also not um, not not like something like carbon, for example, which, you know, to me, carbon is a little basic, um, but some people like that. So that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.